Hello, I'm Matt. I'm Andy. And this is the errant behind us. So we started out with a Catalina 22. It was basically my introduction to sailing. And, and mine. Okay, and his. And we sailed that for about two seasons all in the Chesapeake Bay. Had a lot of fun and decided that that was the life for us. So then we decided that we would need a bigger boat. So we found a project boat. We had been looking for almost a year, a couple years. And uh, finally decided to uh, get rid of the Catalina and upgrade to our project boat here. So we'll give you an introduction and a brief tour and uh, show you what we've done so far. So she is a 1972 Morgan Ketch at 40 feet. Uh, the previous owner had her at his house for between 15 and 20 years. He had every intention of working on the boat and then didn't. We had the boat hauled from New Jersey to Roarsville, Maryland. Pleasant Valley, Maryland. Pleasant Valley, Maryland. the winter with the tarps over the top because we took off a bunch of hardware on the deck so there's holes all over the place got the main mast and the mizzen mast water tanks are outside to be cleaned and refitted our second trash pile <laughs> yep The hole's in very good shape. Uh, the previous owner had uh, had the bottom sandblasted because it had uh, blisters all over it. So it's been sandblasted and then primed, so it's pretty good shape. Just needs bottom paint. Let's go look at the inside now. So you see uh, all the old floor that I took out. Um, it wasn't in too bad shape. It would have probably worked. My main reasons to remove it was one, uh, it was it had been drilled through a lot. There were a lot of different things run through it like conduit and plumbing and I didn't really like how that was done the other thing is uh, the setup uh, wasn't really made for the, the water tanks that were there so I wanted to not only get a new floor but 
uh, reconfigure the spacing so it'll more easily take the new the new water tanks so almost all the surfaces on the boat will be sanded and repainted uh, the cockpit needs new hatches on the seats there and on the rear seat probably new engine controls so where this wooden post is is where the mizzen mast will be right now it's just uh, holding up the tarps uh, my original plan was to to try to help dry out the core of the deck was to just drill a bunch of holes in it wherever it was wet and hope it would just slowly air dry so I sort of erected a little center support for the tarps to get some airflow in there uh, I don't think it really worked uh, the tarps just aren't foolproof enough water always kind of gets in and there wasn't enough airflow underneath it kind of would get too uh, damp so and I basically drilled holes every every foot or so if I came onto a wet spot I would then do it a little closer and sort of map out where the wet spots were so as you can see there's only one piece of floor left and that's right next to the engine there for my little step so I don't have to jump all over the engine too much so the so the last owner had already removed most of the interior which was one of the things I liked about the boat uh, we didn't have to do too much deconstruction so outside you can see we have taken the tow rails off the boat and those are just wooden beams that run along the outside edge where the deck meets the hull and those were pretty discolored a few spots had dry rot but overall they were solid so I've been sp spending a lot of time uh, nurturing them back to life the nice thing about teak is that it's really durable uh, and has uh, and with proper care will last a really long time so the previous owner had done all the deconstruction of the old interior which was definitely an upside for us with this boat because we knew we wanted to replace everything anyway and uh, what he told me with the old boat what happened was that the bulkheads had extended in, down into the bilge and either were not protected right or just neglected and eventually water uh, intru intruded into them and there was a, l a lot of water damage and now he, the last owner had already started on the floor and had gotten a head framed out in the bow of the boat uh, didn't like that though so that came out along with the floor uh, because there was a bit of rot in that floor that he had put down uh, get a better shot of the engine here uh, and so the last owner told me that the engine only had a couple hundred hours on it so it must have been replaced right before he got it and right before the boat was taken out of the water so the engine is a 4108 Perkins uh, it's about 52 horsepower and uh, it's uh, raw water cooled and uh, it looks really nice um, it had just sat for so long out of the water it had, it had not been running a while uh, so I'm hoping it's gonna last us a pretty long time because it, it looks like it's in good shape it just was a little it just had some paint chipping off so I had repainted it and I'll probably replace all the electrical and the and the tubing and uh, so I've been starting on the new floor uh, piece by piece 
So at the moment it's pretty hard to get around. Uh, but hopefully I'll, I'll have the last few uh, uh, floor beams in and then I can get uh, the floor down. The floor here is Cypress. I chose Cypress uh, because everything I read about it said it was one of the best structural uh, building woods with the best rot resistance and uh, it was coated in epoxy to make it waterproof and epoxy should last quite a long time uh, and it's definitely more expensive in terms of ways to waterproof it but the floor is something that I, you don't want to have to go back and mess with so hopefully this lasts a really long time so the two spots here where the water tanks will go about probably 40 to 50 gallons each and then there'll also be one in the bow of the boat that's about 30 gallons the old head was here in this area you can see the through holes so we'll probably keep those through holes to use for other things like AC and the uh, freezer Now here is the base for the uh, steel beam that'll run up to the uh, top of the cabin and that'll support the mast because the mast ends at the top of the deck. Uh, and that beam was real rusted so you can see here I had uh, grinded down a lot of the rust and then sanded it and then finally painted it so it's looking much nicer ready to go back in now in the front of the boat this hole you see was where the last owner had installed a, a crane so he told me his plans were to uh, cruise the Caribbean uh, hunting for treasure and I guess the crane would have been used to haul up things off the uh, ocean floor. Uh, but that thing was pretty large. I'll, I'll show it to you here in a picture. Uh, I don't know how he got it in there, but it, it must have weighed 80 or 90 pounds. I could almost lift it myself, but uh, I had to get help to get it out of the boat uh, but I couldn't unscrew it I don't know how it was put in there so I just had to cut everywhere around it I could reach and just tear it out so the the four deck will need some replacement but that's fine because the core would have had to been replaced anyway the one nice thing about a, a pr this project boat is that you're not gonna hurt it too much because a lot everything needs because everything needs to be fixed and updated. In the very bow of the boat, the backing plate for the forestay was stuck in there. I uh, couldn't get it out. Uh, I'll show you that uh, later. It did eventually come out though after many uh, different attempts and strategies okay so uh, hopefully I'll have the floor and the deck uh, done soon I can start working on the inside so next up I'll show you the hardware that me and Andy took off the deck and uh, some of the rigging